We're all spending so much time at home these days, so today I wanted to make a quick video and share seven ways to get your home clean and healthy. This video was sponsored by Dyson. I think the easiest way to instantly refresh your home is to open a few windows and doors and let the fresh air in. This really helps the air in your home circulate and is the most natural means of ventilation. That being said, by opening windows and doors in your home, you're also allowing in allergens and pollutants from the outside, which can cause problems especially if you suffer from bad allergies like my husband. To keep the air in your home fresh and healthy, you really need a great air purifier. We have the Dyson Pure Humidify Plus Cool, and it's a game changer. Literally, I could have made this entire video about our air purifier because I love it that much. And it's really beautifully designed, so it's not gonna be an eyesore in the corner of your room. Your air quality is also affected by things you bring into your home that you wouldn't even think about. Things like pillows, comforters, candles, gas stoves, cleaning supplies can all bring in pollutants. Your air conditioning or heater will also dry out the air, which can cause skin issues, respiratory issues, and a lot more. The Dyson Pure Humidify Plus Cool helps with all of that. It's a three-in-one machine, so it will purify your air while also maintaining healthy humidity levels and keeping your home cool. You just turn it on, set it to auto, and you're good to go. It even has a self-cleaning mechanism so you don't have to go through a messy daily cleaning process like other humidifiers. Clearly, we're obsessed with ours, so I'll put a link in the description box if you want more info. Now, let's talk about cleaning products. While they're necessary to thoroughly clean floors, windows, countertops, and other surfaces, most cleaning supplies are made of really strong and sometimes toxic chemicals. So why not make your own? It's actually really easy to make your own non-toxic, all-purpose cleaner, and you probably already have what you need around the house. All you have to do is mix a half cup of vinegar and a quarter cup of baking soda into a half gallon of water. This works great to remove water deposit stains on shower panels, bathroom fixtures, windows, bathroom mirrors, and more. Next up, vacuuming. I started becoming compulsive about vacuuming when our daughter was born because with a baby crawling around the floor all the time, you quickly become hyper aware of all the dust and dirt being tracked in from outside. We have the Dyson V11 Torque Drive Vacuum and it's another game changer. What I immediately loved most about it is how light it is and how easy it is to push around the floor, slide under hard to reach places like the couch and tables, and the fact that it's cordless. And the LED display screen makes it really simple to select different cleaning modes. It comes with all different kinds of attachments and nozzles for different surfaces, which especially comes in handy when vacuuming the couch. It's also super easy to empty the bin, which I always used to make my husband do until I got this vacuum. And I love that it has a docking station, so it's always easily accessible and ready to go. It's super convenient. I love it. So again, I'll put a link in my description box for more info. Candles are a great way to refresh the scent of your home, but what a lot of people don't know is that their fumes can also be toxic, depending what they're made from. Paraffin candles, for example, emit toxins that can be really dangerous to your health and should be avoided. Soy and coconut-based candles are much better for you, and beeswax candles are the best. Next, bring some real greenery into your home. Houseplants have so many amazing benefits from improving concentration to increasing oxygen levels. You just wanna make sure not to overwater them and make sure the water drains. Otherwise, plants in overly wet soil can attract gnats and other bugs. To catch water, we keep clear plant saucers underneath our plants and for any dirt spills, we keep our Dyson handy. The last thing I wanna to talk to you guys about today is reducing clutter. So this is our daughter's room and it might not look messy. We try to keep it as clean as possible, but we did have this little reading nook in the corner that consisted of a bunch of pillows. And while it's super cute, dust mites and bugs have a way of multiplying and hiding out in piles and nooks. So we had to remove this cute little reading nook. Um, and what we do is we just purge our home regularly of unnecessary items that we just don't need. This will also help you mentally. A clutter-free environment is conducive to more productivity and lower stress levels. Okay guys, that's it. For me, a clean home equals a peaceful mind. So I hope these tips helped you out. If you have any questions at all, let me know in the comments below and I will see you guys next time.